everybody, it's Bacon Donut here, back with another Sky Factory tutorial. Yes, welcome back. If you want to know more about Sky Factory, my mod pack, you can go back to episode one, and that'll teach you how to get it and what it is and all that sort of stuff. And today, I'm standing in a box here that we haven't seen before. So we've got a zombie villager in a little box. We've got a whole lot of doors. And we have some villagers hanging out, Captain Eyebrows there, and and this little baby. Hello, baby villager. He's so cute. So what on earth am I doing here? All right, well, let me tell you, we are completing a challenge today. So let me fly over to my achievement book. <laughs> right here. This, create a village large enough to spawn iron golems. Boom, right there. That's the one we're completing today. And this this challenge is borrowed straight out of old school Skyblock. Uh, you don't need to use any mods to complete this. It's This is an, uh, a manipulation of vanilla game mechanics. And so basically what we're doing is we're creating a, a village. And so let's talk about the specifics of how this works. In Sky Factory, the only way to get villagers is um, through zombie villagers. And so all I've done here is in the back of my house, and of course it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you put this, as long as the chunks are loaded so that they can be there to do their breeding and stuff, as long as the chunks are loaded, it literally doesn't matter where you put this or what Y level or, or whatever. Um, so I've built a platform I've put a fence here so the villagers can't jump out. And uh, I've put this row of doors all the way around. And basically, each one of these doors, the game is going to consider as a house. And uh, the the concept here is the the door is underneath this block here. And this block here is what the game considers the roof. If, if I am... I mean, it's been forever since I've read up, like, the wiki specifics about this, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I hope I'm not giving you inaccurate information, but but that's the way that I understand it. And uh, so you do it like this, and each one of these is going to be considered uh, a, a house uh, for purposes of the villagers. So once you have all the doors and, and they're valid, then... Um, if there's villagers here, then they're gonna start to breed, and you can see that it already worked because I started with two villagers here. They got little hearts and uh, popped out that little baby guy right there. So it's already working. So so that just leaves how do you get the villagers in the first place? So you need to get a zombie villager and basically heal him. Bring him back from the undead and make him a villager again. And uh, so you can either Wait until nighttime and you like take all these torches and let monsters spawn in here and then just do battle until you find one of these. You know, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is, do you remember the force flasks? We showed you these uh, in an earlier episode. Flask. Uh, you can also do this with an item called a safari net, but they're a bit more expensive. The force flasks are super cheap. You can just look up the recipe in any eye. And you can take this thing and left click something and it's gonna put it in the bottle. Now remember, if you're trying to bottle up something hostile, oh, oh wait, there. If you're trying to bottle up something hostile, like a zombie, it has to be at one hit point or it won't go into the bottle, right? And if you go back and watch the Dartcraft tutorials, I showed you how to um, put the, um, uh, the false enchant onto a sword, which will make it so that you kill, you attack things down to one HP and uh, and it won't go below that. That That's what lets you do it. So what I recommend is get yourself a sword with, with the false enchant and then come over to your mob farm. You can just turn off the fans so that, you know, if this is, if this is a style of mob farm that you have. Turn off the fan so things spawn and don't automatically die, and just wait until you find a zombie uh, villager in here, and then, you know, kill everything else, get him down to one hit point with your false sword, and then put it in the flask. Uh, so, similar over here, there's monsters in here. 
I don't know if one of these zombies is a zombie villager or not, but that would, but you get the idea. Then you left click with the bottle uh, after you get it to one HP and then you would bring it over here and put it in this little pen that I have prepared for the healing. Now it's important to have a block above him because they take damage in the sunlight, right? So if I didn't have this block, he would be on fire right now. So now we just need to heal him. Um, so we need a golden apple that should be, uh, I can't remember if it has to be a notch apple or not. Uh, I think just the normal one will work. We'll try it. Uh, and then a potion of splash potion of weakness. And here we go. So first, first we weaken him. Boom. So you can see the particle effects and now we feed him the apple. Boom. Yep. The normal one worked. See, hear that? It made that weird noise. Now he's got red particles and he's shaking. <laughs> kind of messed up, huh? And he's going to stand there and he's going to shake for like a long time. I forget how long it takes. It's like three minutes or five minutes or something. It takes a long time. Um, now, you have to be careful because this is a monster. If you're far away from him, then he's going to despawn if he doesn't have something in his hand or unless you've named him. So you can take a name tag and give him a name. Or um, another method is to give him something to hold like that. I just tossed any old item at him. And so he's going to hold on to that. And if he's holding something in his hand, he won't despawn. And because uh, otherwise, if I were to like go over here and do my thing and to wait for the five minutes to come, be up and then come back here again, then when I came back, he there's a chance that he would just be gone. And we don't want that. We need him. Um, so, yeah, there you go. And if you need to know more about potion of weakness, I mean, just. You can just look up the recipe in NEI or Google potion making. It's it's vanilla stuff. You know, some of these vanilla game mechanics uh, shouldn't be too hard for you to learn how to do. Uh, there's so much info on the on the Internet about it. So that's that. So really all you need after this, uh, uh, you need to do this twice so that you have two villagers, right? And so you get two villagers cured and then put them in here with the doors and they're gonna just start breeding. These two guys have already made this one baby here. And when he grows up, you know, then, and after a certain amount of time goes by, uh, it'll, they'll just make more and more. They'll continue to breed and the family will, will get bigger. And I don't know the exact minimum number of doors required to get iron golems, but I know that this is overkill. This is larger than what you need, but it's all cheap stuff to make. And so, you know, it, it works and really, oh, oh, there's already another baby. I didn't even notice there's that one. And there's this one. Nice. We've got two babies already. Sweet. The family's well underway. <laughs> and, um, uh, so you get time will pass, more and more villagers will spawn, and then just out of nowhere, um, here, I'll, rather than, I mean, I could like cut and then uh, come back later, but just for the, the sake of my own editing sanity, uh, basically they'll breed for a while, get bigger, and then just spontaneously at one point, an iron golem will just appear in here. You you don't have to you don't have to do anything special other than just wait for more villagers. So so that's it. You put all that stuff together and you're gonna have yourself a, a village and uh, and you can start, you know, using them for trading. This guy's a Thomcraft villager, so you can get a Nitor from him. And uh, what's this guy got? Certus Quartz for Emeralds. Pretty cool. And I don't think you can trade with the with the babies, I don't think. Nope, doesn't look like it. I didn't think so. That would have been OP. <laughs> and that about covers it. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button below. Be sure to check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bacon underscore donut. Follow me up on the Twitters as well. And I will see you next time for another tutorial. Bye, guys. Bye.